class. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight he wears black trim and white. His official weight, 168.8 pounds. As a bare knuckle professional, he holds a record of one victory opposite a single defeat. Fighting out of Etna, Indiana, here is Tom Show. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears black trimmed in red. His official weight, 169.8 pounds. As a bare knuckle professional, he holds a record of two victories opposite two defeats. Fighting out of Mansfield, Ohio, here is Julian Hellboy Lane! <laughs> and our right is on from the action, Wayne Spinola. Earlier this evening, I gave a special welcome to all of you watching Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship in the UK for the first time. And I want to give a special welcome to Sylvester and Frank Stallone, who we know are watching live this evening. This fight has all the ingredients to, I think, look like Rocky III. <laughs> Round number one, and a clever line-like start for Julian Lane. He's in the black and red trunks. Black and white trunks from Tom Schoen, and down goes Schoen. Ruled a slip immediately by referee Wayne Spinola. Tom cannot get caught in the slugfest right here. He has to learn from that first fight. This fight right here is picking up very, very fast. I think Tom going to have to use that jab just to slow it down a little bit so Lane can get his respect. Lane, stiff jab. Schoen's already on his heels. It's the right hand counter left and the counter right by Tom Schoen. And that's exactly what Tom Schoen was able to do last fight. Counter left hand. Landed many times and was able to win that fight with just that punch alone. Move that head side to side, baby. Move pulling back that right hand. Champ, I should have said a Mason the line Dixon like performance instead of name checking Mr. T. Right. <laughs> good job, my man. Both guys landed good punches there. Huge sweeping left hand from Lane. That definitely took Shof off his striking line. Get settled. Show bleeding out of his mouth. Flipping left hook from Lane. Show trying to establish the one, then the two. There's the right hand. That man is clean. Good left hand. Kick side. High and tight, aggressively for Lane. Stumbling is Tom Show. Overhand right from Lane. Lane's doing a great job of not getting too greedy, staying in there and throwing too many punches. He's landing one or two good punches and then getting back out. I don't, like, I don't like those haymakers he's doing just because he could get his hand in close. That is the end of an outstanding round number one. Ready? Knuckle up! Both fighters up to scratch. The call of knuckle up from Wayne Spinola, round number two. He shows right back in the middle. Good right hand from Show. Round two picking up right where round number one left off. High volume, all intensity from both men. And Lane is starting to, he's really starting to telegraph his punch and throwing really hard, but he's got to be careful. He's opening himself up to time. Step from Tom Show, trying to find his rhythm. Trying to find a plan B. Down in round number one. Seconds already gone, round number two. And yes, these two minute rounds absolutely fly by. Flick jab from Lane. Fleming right hand by Lane. Lane doing some good counter shots. Cover the temples, cover the temples. Shove trying to stay very disciplined, very tight. The check left and the short right on the inside. We know Shove has talent. He's shown that in the past. He's shown it tonight. But it just seems like Lane is throwing him off his game just a little bit. He got to get his composure back. If Lane gets a little bit tired, this could be a difficult fight for him. He's doing a good job. That was a huge uppercut right there. Look at him. He's throwing wild punches. Those tire you out. So just missing with the left hand, but it backed off Lane. Five seconds He's remaining round two. There's the flip jab from Lane doubling up. Right hand from Lane on the inside. Exploding in and getting back out of range. 
Bischoff really still trying to find his rhythm champ. Yeah, it seems like he's still trying to find it. There he is. Got some footwork going. He's going to settle down here in a minute. But Lane, continue to put that pressure on that foot pressure. Keep them hands up, Tom. Let's go. Let's go. Again, trying to find the gap, trying to establish his left hand. Jeff slips under that right hook of Julian Lane. Kofa's so got some in on the mouth. It's, uh, Lane is bleeding bad from the mouth. Could be cut inside. Round number three, you also saw in the corner of Tom Schoff, the reigning BKFC heavyweight champion, Arnold A.J. Adams. Now, now they're really starting to provoke guys. They, they're exchanging blows. Tom trying to establish the jab a little bit more right now. Better step from Tom Schoff to start round number three. So again, trying to find the jab. There's that rear right uppercut from Lane. That's an effective punch. Flipping right. lead left hook from Lane. That jab, that jab of Strauss is getting in there. He's starting to control it. Very MMA-like. Mouthpiece out. Mouthpiece right back in, Chris. I love it. He puts it out. There's a word for the referee. I'm coming back in. I'm going to fight right now. No history. Didn't miss it all for nothing. Real fighter. My good friend Big John McCarthy said, your water never disinfected anything. <laughs> I love it. It's the most John McCarthy-like statement I've ever heard. Good right hand wow. on the left. Big Ooh. right hand again from Lane. Tom Schoff is showing a lot of toughness right now. Taking some huge shots. So Tom still in the fight looking for that big kind of shot to change the game. Four to five seconds remaining round three. Jab from Show. There you go, simple. He has definitely slowed down in volume and intensity, but he's still landing big shots. Show still trying to establish the jab. Look at that jab. Ooh, good right hand. Look at that jab, how it slows the game down and keeping that bay. Just throw it out there. Ten seconds. One, two. Give me that one, two. Simple down the middle. Looking a jab of his own. Better round, though, for Tom Show. Both fighters up to scratch. To round four we go. Overhand right, then the left hook misses from Schoff. They both missed each other with those counters a few times. You see Schoff putting his palm on his forehead for defense. And again, bare knuckle striking, both offensively, defensively, rapidly evolving. The sport's going to look much different in five years. Show still trying to put that sneaky right hand in on Lane. He's setting it up. Right hand just misses good right hand from Julian Lane. Tom Coach can have to change it up a little bit, do something a little bit different. At the, at the pace it's going right now, he's not going to win this fight. I think he just needs to land punches. He's reaching, he's throwing punches, just not landing. Watch it back fist. Schoff trying to walk down Lane. Counter left hand by Lane after the right. One minute remaining round four, again the left. And you see Lane committing to the shots. He's committing, he's throwing convincingly. Sh uh, Schultz don't look like he's throwing convincingly. That's that was a big one right there, big left hand. Big shot, Lane landing a right hand. It's just the counter shots are coming far in, in between, far in between. He needs to get closer and throw more. Yeah, I think at this point he has to know he's losing this fight. He's got to change up. Got to do something big. Snap jab again from Tom Show. Show count in round number one. That's a good one. Show, good combination. Left right back from Julian Wayne. Keep those combos going. One, two, one, two. Ten seconds. Again, he just messed me like, ooh. Quick right. Double jab again from Julian Lane. Work that one, two. Very little clinching, very little dirty boxing, and we will head to the fifth and final round. Set for the fifth Ready? and final Go. round. Julian Lane versus Tom Schoff in the middleweight division. We're going to see how bad Schoff wants to win this fight because he has to feel he may be behind in this fight right now. Knockdown. 
Ordered by Lane versus Chauvin round one. Certainly a big factor with the three Florida judges scoring Lane's side. Good body shot. And right into the clinch. Stop, 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 break, Lane. Real break from referee Wayne Spinola in this bout. The body. Swing's not getting through from Lane wide. Body that jab got through. He's doing some good body shots. See, can he bring one of those up top? I like to see him double up. Body shot right to a head shot. Good hook. Left to end. Indeed on the hook. Show landed that flush. Show got to step in a little closer. He got to get closer. He's still too far up. Show tried to throw the rear right uppercut. Missed with the lead left hook. Step in. There you go. Right. I want to see him follow that straight right hand with the left hook. He's coming on. 55 seconds remaining in this fight. Right hand uh -oh. from Show. Oh, the hook. Oh. Step in, step in. Step you gotta in right. get closer. You gotta get those feet a little bit closer. Get your feet underneath you when you throw that punch. He's missing him by an inch. And those those punches he's throwing could end the fight too. Right to the body, left to the body. Well done to the rib cage for Tom Show, playing right back to the inside. Now 30 seconds remaining in this middleweight bout. Close fight, but I think Tom Show needs something big right now. It was the double jab again from Lane. Spirit blood on the face of Julian Lane. Oh, Good uppercut. uppercut with the right hand. He needs to come at him right now. Throw everything you got at him. Good hook. Good right hand by Come Schoen. at him. Keep coming. Press, press, press. Good Schoen body the shot. Body with the right hand. Nice. Wow. The end of a really fun fight. Strong finish right yes, there. Good. That's exactly what I want to see him do. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the decision, let's have a round of applause for these two middleweight warriors. After completing the scheduled five rounds, here are the score totals from our judges at ringside. All three judges see the fight 49-45 to the winner by unanimous decision, Julian Elba! So purely in terms of the judges' scorecards, the knockdown didn't matter. In terms of the flow of the fight, the knockdown most definitely mattered because it established Lane's offense early.